As a man, do you have uncomfortable symptoms like frequent urination or trouble starting to urinate? Or do you feel like you haven't emptied your bladder completely? Well, these are all signs of enlarged prostate. So today we're going to talk about top foods to avoid if you have enlarged prostate. Hi, I'm Dr. Ritakshi, a medical doctor and a clinical nutritionist. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about enlarged prostate, which is also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia. Now, this usually is a very common condition in men, especially as they age. So a prostate is a gland which is located in the pelvis and it plays an important role in the male reproductive system. Now our prostate converts testosterone into another hormone which is known as DHT and DHT when it's increased or is in high levels can cause cells in our prostate to enlarge. So today in this video we'll talk about top foods to avoid if you already have been diagnosed with enlarged prostate or if you just want to have a healthy prostate. While there is no magic bullet diet for benign prostatic hyperplasia, there are some foods that irritate your prostate and can worsen the symptoms. And if we do not take care of our prostate health, that can also lead to prostate cancer and we definitely don't want that. First on the list is red meats and processed meats. Now red meats are high in saturated fats and they can increase inflammation and worsen the symptoms. Also, processed meats are high in saturated fats and they contain a lot of sodium and this will also worsen the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. So we must avoid meats like sausages, bacon, hot dogs, salamis, pork because they're all going to increase or enlarge our prostate even further and we should opt for better protein sources which are leaner such as your beans, legumes, nuts, you can have uh, chicken and fish. Second on our list is dairy and dairy products. Now, full fat milk, cheese, butter, all these milk products are going to irritate your prostate even further. So it's best to cut them out. Studies have shown that cutting out on dairy has actually helped with the symptoms of enlarged prostate. So you can also opt for A2 milk or you can opt for milk that is a non-dairy alternative which includes your flax milk, oat milk, rice milk, cashew milk, almond milk. These are very good options. You can try them out. If you opt for milk like skimmed milk or low fat milk, well, these dairy products are also linked with prostate cancer. So it's best to have them in limit. Next on the list is salty foods. Now excessive sodium intake will lead to water retention or fluid retention and it's also going to increase your blood pressure levels. Now this is going to aggravate the symptoms that are associated with enlarged prostate and you're going to feel that the frequency of your urination and the urgency of urinating is going to get worsened. So it's best to avoid foods with added salt in them and you should avoid the foods that are processed, packaged and canned and opt for foods that are fresh and homemade. Fourth on our list is sugar. Now this includes your sugary foods, your sweet foods, your sugary drinks. Now refined sugar is going to cause inflammation throughout your body and it is also going to affect your prostate. So these will also include your artificial sweeteners. They do the same effect on inflammation in our body. So it's best to avoid all these for a good prostate health. Here you also have to be careful when you're taking jaggery or honey because these might be better alternatives for you comparatively to your sugar but still you must take only a very small amount of it otherwise it's still sweet and it is going to have a spike in your blood sugar levels and it might cause inflammation and it is going to affect your prostate. So best is to avoid sugary foods, baked foods, pastries or added sugar drinks, opt for unsweetened drinks, opt for um, water, sparkling water, carbonated water, add some food to it or add some lemon to it 
and you can have unsweetened coffees, unsweetened teas. Number five on our list is the most obvious one, alcohol. Now alcohol is in generally bad for your health, it's highly inflammatory and it is also a diuretic which means that it will cause frequent urination. So if you have excess amounts of alcohol that means it's going to worsen the symptoms of your benign prostatic hyperplasia. So it's best to limit the amount of alcohol in your body. It's best to avoid alcohol completely. So what can we drink instead of alcohol? We can opt for non-alcoholic drinks. We have non-alcoholic um, beverages available, non-alcoholic beers, non-alcoholic wines, and we can opt for some mocktails which are made with sparkling water. You can have lots of lemon, lime soda, and you can include herbs on them, which will give you a good flavorful drink. Last on the list is coffee. Now coffee has caffeine in it and caffeine acts like a diuretic as well. So we must avoid anything that is diuretic, meaning that it will cause you frequent urination. So it's best to not drink any teas or coffees which are caffeinated and if you do just stick to maybe one cup a day. And also there are options like non-caffeinated or decaffeinated drinks, beverages. So you can probably opt for that. You can go for herbal teas and they are going to be more helpful for your prostate health. While these are some of the foods to be mindful of, remember everybody's body is different. So make sure to eat healthy diet, eat good amounts of vegetables, fruits, get loads of vitamins and minerals in your meals, eat a balanced diet, avoid anything that's processed, packaged, and with added salts, saturated fats, and sugar in them. Make sure if you are suffering or having any of these benign prostatic hyperplasia symptoms, then make sure you talk to your doctor or your nutritionist and get a personalized diet plan. I hope you found this video helpful on prostate health. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on nutrition and health. Thank you for watching today. I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, eat healthy, stay healthy. Bye.